With means of developing the film industry in the Nelson Mandela Bay, a film festival was held at the Nangoza Jebe Hall in New Brighton to educate aspiring filmmakers in the Bay. Of course, Career Tuesday was there to learn. It will be opening uh, been a movie screening, but there were speeches before that uh, from a director of festival, from a director of a municipality, um, Mrs. Shoba, later Sachonong Ekpek, um, Mrs. Scotty. And then Saskrina would sue the winter to my skin. So the winter to my skin is this year's SAFTA Best Feature Film. And it's, it features uh, E Star Sakona lead, Ezra Mabengeza, Wala Penyu Pride, Wazala Penyu Pride, um, late Mamunom Sengonyeni, Wala Penyu Pride, and I know Zolisa Kaluva were featured in that movie. So we open Galeana as the best that the country has now for aspiring filmmakers. Babone, what Abanda Bafana Nabo are capable of doing out there. Yeah. And, and, okay. mm -hmm. and then after that, we had King Oguma Muskoti explaining to us. The, the importance of film development, a, a, a laying the foundation of what she was going to talk about on today's workshop, which was the fund that EGPEC, for the first time in Eastern Cape, has for, de, for developing a film which is 15.8 million rands. And within that funds, we call it different types of funds to help filmmakers as Eastern Cape. There is Epic Development Fund, there is Inkonjani Youth Fund, for youth who are into film to develop their stories because you need to start somewhere in the Eastern Cape, there's never been funds to, and if film yona is labor intensive, as much as it makes, it, it creates to economy, but it's very labor intensive. So it needs a funds to make it work, you understand? So here are the industry, true, the platform, you call you up. And what's happening here, we are celebrating anyone who has finished a film. Be it a student film, be it a short film, be it a documentary, anyone who has finished a film because it's not easy to make a film. The theme of the festival, Lea Lunyakong, humble beginnings. You understand? Yeah. Okay, looking at the fact that um, a lot of um, aspiring filmmakers came about funding, what other things do you think need to be taught up in the Nelson Mandela Bay when it comes with technical skills? Now, what is it about technical skills? I mean, go career Tuesday, law. So when, when you talk about technical skills, what is technical skills when it comes to film? You see, when you're watching a film, we are an interview, we are a presenter, Kuko umdu behind a uh, technical assistant or a petty camera. And uh, sometimes we have a lot of lights, a lot of sound. It depends on the product we have, be it live interview, or a feature, or a documentary. But there's always people behind the camera. So, so those people are people, must ne? They, those are jobs. Yes. You understand? Because those people handle that equipment for the process of filmmaking. So the technical ability, the balleki le enti na kena banu bamnyama, as basi same vagundu as nins, we lack the technical ability. Hence, after I bela apa today to show us a few things because after it's only motion picture school up high by, yeah. We also have a media workshop, but yes. anyway, um, in terms of looking at the films you have, that have been selected up, what, what would you say is, is good up in Nelson Mandela Bay? How is it, has it developed in e -E -E filming Yalapa? And what else needs to be, besides the technical um, correction, well, what else needs to be sorted? For, for any fledging uh, film space needs one, an active film office. If I lack one, okay. you understand? So if we can establish an active film office to facilitate young in the film, because through a film office as a Teben, yes. which didn't exist uh, or wasn't active like eight years ago, I would say, mm -hmm. ne? there is now Uzalo, yes. a TV. There is Isibaya, a TV, Imbeu, all of those things, a TV, on different channels. Yes. How many jobs? Are being created by that film office. Mm -hmm. There's an international film of uh, film festival paya, a, a facilitator of a film office, mm -hmm. ne, ne film commission a paya. So these are structures mm -hmm. that are crucial yes. to to. It's like without them, on a frame mm -hmm. or foundation, I would say for ba ma ma compete. So Eastern Cape, we lack those, and the pay we lack a film office mm -hmm. that can facilitate even commercial projects mm -hmm. that can come here. Ipa is losing money. Yeah. Because there are no commercials that are being shot here, because I come to facilitator or e locations, e crew, e equipment, and all those things. For who? The city. Mm. You understand? So we need that to work. Okay. Yeah.
There's a lot that needs to be done, Glendy Tetayo Pudram. But to Konumdana or La Penas Mandela Bay or Bukele right now, Career Tuesday, who needs some kind of inspiration. But how do you get into this um, f- um, film industry? What advice would you give for that person? One, they need to learn the basics. They need to, it's so information age now. So whatever you're interested in, you are carrying information, a phone in your you understand? So umdu maga kheli sa u researcher, I call a researcher, I date, I measure it. So that next year, this day, I ask ba, akwazu measure it, how they have moved via education, self-education first, and then, because that's cheap. No one won't well, have access to information, and there are a lot of things online that you can get for self-education. One, for someone who's aspiring. Then number two, there are institutions, as you've said, who after media workshop, NMU, uh, the Easy Roads Media and Arts uh, 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 Faculty. Now, one career path is as only limited via in previous history of the country, they are careers in film. You understand? In different areas and in different levels, I mean, which people can take advantage of. So most of our products, um, projects as a e- company is focused on e- film development youth because we've been isolated from that. And we lack e- skills. And then that what, that's what needs to happen. But Abandu, they need to know even the... Scouting and everything. Uh, just take interest, do your own research, and learn. Don't, you must not l- ever stop learning, 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 learning. I'm still learning today. Okay. This is also, while I'm organizing this, I'm also learning the feedback I'm getting. I'm putting that into data for my own researches and for the industry research because I'm learning in challenge. First time a new Pride Tobacco Film Festival that's lasting three days with knowledge based workshops and also entertainment audience development initiatives. I like the fact that you're saying first time always is a new Pride. So I'm guessing you say look sheen is in Mandela Festival. So how has the response been Gabando and do you think it's something that needs to be done more awareness and look sheen year filming? Do you think it still needs to be actually created? It's fortunate it's not the first time we're bringing uh, a cinema to a look sheen because Afro cinema does that. Okay. We've been to a fear plus, we've been to a Woma, we've been here before. So hence I chose this hall. It works better than Amanyela. Mm-hmm. But uh Abandu industry is challenged Leo in the past three years. That is a election is that Abandu already said a condition that we can just sell. Okay. You understand? We'd like to do screenings every weekend if we could, but when we did them uh, uh, fear plus Nase Woma and even here. And we brought a film that was the same as yesterday, but uh, earlier, of good report. Abandu would come, but interest is also leka u yoshalange tuyaki. You understand? <laughs> so the challenge is that kuba kulandu drug abuse and alcohol abuse in our communities. People are already conditioned, but yeah, we can just sell. So here yeah, we're trying to take people away from those and give them alternative uh, entertainment. As well, you understand? Yeah, that's what we do. Day two of the film festival held workshops which guided the learners on ways to get funding for the films. Those who attended had lots to say. So, what made you actually come up at Nelson Mandela Bay Festival? Um, I found the Zochiki Shabbat Nakwazi Fundandoni and Indo Nakwazi Funda Pangan Sapi going forward. Okay, so funde don't know when I'm changing and also when I'm forward to work with you, Angel. Okay, the funde ba go kala dente mama zonge zinda ze funding zifuna under thirty-five. Class boni la bas kono categories that means up to is zinda zina age at all. So se ba zifu mani funding na artists nga ba number over thirty-five. So then this obo na ba across dead ends. Yeah. So okay. So the boni la bas. Okay, looking at at the festival in itself and the films that is it lalayo up, it is standard Mandela Bay. According to your opinion, now what is still missing for film industry, and what do you say is still Konai Bayens are perfectly? Okay, I think Gaske Bayeke in the Fumansek Bazongezi in those nesngi 
mabanya abantu abasive so singehesi so ngasikhe be concentrate kuzinto abantu abazokwazi uthetha ba understand at the same time because ingathi into esifuna uyenza pe Eastern Cape we're trying to be like the next Joburg which is it Joburg yindawo e multicultural there's a lot of people so at least English yaba unite but when it comes to the Eastern Cape the Eastern Cape is predominantly Xhosa yabo so apha ngasikhe thina silungi say the language issue yes Hello, Kamalam Dingusia Sangela, Perpli Falata, and Suka Ed Dispatch. And I hope it makes about the film industry, but I can say that from today I know a lot. I know what's happening behind the scenes, not just the Elsie's in Losses Bonai Divinka, but I know what happens behind. So, are you, do you want to be a filmmaker one day? Okay, looking at it is in this business like a workshop, I mean, we learned about funding, we learned a lot about from uh, growing the industry as in Nassim Mandela Bay and the film industry. What do you, what have you learned when it comes to funding? Ne? And guess the business of Kumba, if you don't get enough, but lose a take up in Nassim Mandela Bay. That's kind of tricky. But when it comes to funding, ne, I, they, 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 they said that. First, you have to be umdu that's interested and umdu that has been groomed already for ba unyuke and then them funding you. So, I think first of all, you have to like groom yourself privately. Then, if you are born about uyakula and you want to go bigger, you can go your teller for ifans. Okay, looking at what you've been watching, King Oko Up and Nelson Mandela Bay Film Festival, and what are your opinion? And Umdana Oshi Leopa that really also is also inspiring, just like you. What words would you give them on Up and Nelson Mandela Bay? I wanna say, if you wanna be in the film industry, sulala ku gift yako. Take whatever that you have, ask for help. I mean, like there's internet, Google, whatever that has to do with the film industry, uzai fomana. And so yeah, just work on yourself, keep trying, uzai kul. Aya na wakala ako nisoka e tisuge nyo praitin etora e ndila pa kuba ndi vego radio kukuba nanga baze is this kind of festival ekoyo and it's in the community akonda it's best for me kaku kandi free gel clash and dize dizo kebisa olwa muluazi kwe lkala le film because nafuna because the chance ya mba ndi kebisa zangi daza kwe lkala le field lobo mkele tobo mi ok so uzi like wa attend ake putu wa muzo kwa funu luazi more about film so ufunen don wena na when it comes to his endeavors, since we are going to workshop. Okay, go and the figure and the classic and the figure and the classic and the classic and film and the classic and and the Kulomkolo wala fili na mkolo wala fili mbusiti Masinga ba api uzi abali ngani bitu Because siza baluza Enzeti mkuzwa obona ikabiso la boka Ubalu zili Tifunde londo na How do you feel ke ubu kela ifili mwiazi wabange ya lapa Kulinda usuka kuyo Nelson Mandela Bay Like a film festival elapa Mkwenzo fili shenja knowing ba Aba bandu ba kula fili mwibu kela It's possibility ba wangati bala na mpe slide ring no, okay. Look, on that part, the filiche in the Malangaba, there are opportunities out there. Ka in the Malangaba, we should look and that we should listen to Kakuk Tetwayo, Nagu radios, good social media, everything. We should we should turn attention because, as you know, because Naku Kunji, Naku Sibona Bandas Bazi, like the Abaz, most of our Bandala feeling they were born, Nangoba Bone Lali, and Linda Wendy Azi, at least, yeah. It gives motivation, it's inspiration to us. Bas Lady in the Malangaba, Makbek in the Sienza, yes. Day three included a workshop with well-known film school after PE and the South African Cultural Observatory. The reason why I came up with festivals that is I wanted to learn more, to gain more knowledge and information on this on the skill that I have because in, I have the skill of a camera operating, but and there's nothing that I'm doing so that is why I came so that I could actually be briefed so where I can get information from okay. so we are aware by Nelson Mandela Film Festival it was actually going on for three days and there was a couple of workshops happening and I'm planning to day three you were talking they were given a workshop by AFDA and also about cultural adversity so what exactly did you learn in, in those workshops today Firstly, from AFDA, what I've learned is that uh, what they do is very authentic. 
and it's original. You don't see any imitation of what they do. And directing is very, very challenging because you, you lead people to do certain characters, but they don't, they just go the other way around. And what is important is that uh, the scripture, everything that you write and everything that you act, that you read, you must read it accordingly. And some other times the actors don't read exactly the scriptures. So as a director, you will accept improvision of whatever they say according to the lines. Sometimes a director, they say it's very saddening, or a script writer, they say it's very saddening. But script apart. According to so as an actor, you have to sit down and observe and analyze a character. There's a lot of things with scripture because you have characters as a five, but what I've learned is that you have to focus on your main character the character that you play. You must eat your character, you must sleep your character, you must wake up as your character. So that is what I've learned in AFDA. SACO, what I've learned is that the uh, government is actually wanting to develop and uplift a film and television industry because uh, currently at the moment they've seen in Hollywood, in Bollywood, in Hollywood. So how about to make our own Sollywood but but SACO, they want to develop, they want to input, they want to have input in everything uh, regarding funding, uplifting filmmakers, because as a filmmaker, who's in a short film, funding. you have to fund your own thing. But what is important is that SACO, they want to help, they want to have a, a hand in regarding a film and television industry. So, Minister, no man, Hollywood, how about Zanzibar? Create a name, have a name, have a platform for Ilendozan. I want to create a name, have a name, have a platform for Ilendozan. I want to create a name, have a platform Yes. Okay, and with all this knowledge that you've gained in Amtlanjane, you are also an aspiring camera operator, you've got the skills and you've been learning. Now, as the cam op you are, what do you think, what influence can you put on to improve EE cultural diversity and also make sure that the authenticity that you were talking about still remains what, uh, something that is happening in the films of Nelson Mandela Bay? What I can say from my perspective as a camera operator, each and every upbringing person or into a disadvantage, we must give, we must share in knowledge, we must share experience. You don't have experience in camera operating. You have this passion of wanting to become a camera operator. So as me, as a camera operator and experience, I have to share my knowledge and understanding to teach you free of charge. And then we can have this production team together. Oh, come on. Yes. So Aya, um, you've been coming to a film festival ever since it started and Gogo, you're continuing to come. What makes you keep coming in Donlendo Ikwensba to explore a film festival? Because <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out like as a theater now, and also a South African cultural observatory. Um, if you don't know Kubo, and because of things, I don't even know Kubo, and also the tattoo team. Well, okay, go to the corner. One, the funder of Banangaba, the cultural observatory, the funder of Banangaba. There is in the way for an eye, a thing that we put it develop a film and television of fishing ugu nati ban banama pupa okuba sibe on the media industry since our children ugu sibe nenda awo ekanye sibe siku kusineti suwe ugu tinga genda awo eza bakfupi to develop our desire it is a lady to use
Alright, looking at movies, guys, as a guy, I'm trying to just go climb your own tandy legos, bugle. This is a this is a lap climbing one, two, a ziglendo si pilay. They are more authentic. But if I could use that word, and you know, if I look in the balanga, but solo go see be, see Sunday, the cleanest pillar cool, class see bouquet, the ones in the balanga, but see those as but see put and our where our mistakes, see can you see 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 writing that when you see. Abdo also decided to tell our viewers about them, so let's learn a bit more. I'm Kanya Tota. I'm basically from EFTA, part of the marketing team, and we're here to market EFTA. EFTA is an arts and performance school that, with, with students that are interested in entertainment, basically everything behind the camera and in front of the camera. So if you're interested in directing, producing, editing, script writing, and in front of the camera, stage acting, screen acting, we do all of that. And students are exposed to a lot when it comes to entertainment. Okay, now I'm aware that um, on day three today, after I gave a workshop and actually explained all of this to Abanda Basile and Amtaj. So how was the response from people? What is it, Kauso Bonile, irresponsible. What is it that people of the Nelson Mandela Bay are interested in Kanye Kayoko film, filming? They are very interested in film, and I found that there are a lot of people who are interested in motion picture, motion picture being behind the camera. There are a lot of people with talent, but it's just that Abanazo is fans. So um, we should also recommend bursaries, because the bursaries are around August, September. And usually, as in at the end of the year, meaning for 2020, if you need to for 2021. So I, I feel that people should be more exposed to bursaries and events like these should happen more often so that people know about it. So currently I'm in matric or maybe I'm pursuing a career in film, but I'm not sure exactly. I'm, as you said, funding is still a problem. So what, what exactly are the steps to, in order to get a bursary do I have to do? Where, where do I go? Is there an online site? The process into order, or getting the bursary, how is it? With the bursaries, we also have a list. You can go to any institution or company that offers bursaries. We, we accept those bursaries. We also give out to the students a list of all the bursaries that we know of, and then they can apply for that. But it's just like they need to apply earlier in the year so that they're able to go through the process and see if they taken into the bursary or not. Great. Now, also, after was not the only people give, giving a workshop today, there was also South African Cultural Observatory, and they were promoting the fact that we need our own Hollywood, we need our own Sollywood, or Zanzibar. What are your, what are your opinions on to that? Um, I, I agree with that, because um, PE people, or so South Africans in general, have a lot of talent, but it's just that it's not recognized, and they're not exposed to places like EFTA and basically where they can um, show their talent. So I feel that if they had more opportunities for students and people at large, because there are also older people that would like to go into the career and have a lot of experience, but it's just that they aren't exposed to resources. Right now, we're having things such as the Nelson Mandela Bay Film Festival. Um, what are your opinions? I come under you've been here throughout the festival. What have you learned and what do you think you are going to take now from here and take it to your um, career as one of the film aspirants? Um, I noticed that a lot of people want to, want, want to go into the entertainment industry and a lot of people love this, but it's just that they can't do it. So I advise them to basically, even the parents, there are parents that don't want their kids to go into the entertainment industry, not knowing that if you're talented and love your, like your job, then you are able to go in and actually succeed in the journey. So I feel that parents should also be encouraged and more events like this should happen to expose people to entertainment, arts and film. And we, we also have a list of loan agreements, basically a list of all the companies and institutions that give, us, give out bursaries, and then people can also book, get a student loan if they can't get a bursary. And that's it from the Film Festival. Right now we're taking it back to Luando in studio.